Why do I recommend motorbike travel in the Philippines? Um, the fact is, a lot of the areas of the Philippines are quite difficult to get to. Um, often motorbikes are the only way. Um, but also, if you've got your own motorbike, you've got more control over it. Because one thing I don't like is other people driving for me. I'm quite fussy like that. Um, not too fast in the UK. It's not too bad. I'm often on the bus in the UK. But, um, you know, like when I'm going city to city. But in the Philippines, the amount of fatalities from bus crashes is horrendous. Um, they're just not roadworthy. But with, the, with your own motorbike, you've got a bit more control over it. Um, you make better decisions than a lot of people um, in many of the vehicles in the Philippines. Uh, Shabu is quite a problem with some of the transportation system because they take drugs to stay awake. Taxi drivers, some do, some of those do as well. Um, it's not good. But from a positive side, you can travel for you know, island to island on a motorbike and carry as much as you need for a week. Um, and it's just a nice way to travel because you can stop and start. Because one of the things I always do is I keep a camera on the bag on the front of the bike because I'll stop and I'll see something nice. I can just literally stop, take a picture and then go on my way again. Um, that's why the scooter is quite handy uh, around Cebu because there's actually, you know, the standing bit. Um, I could leave a bag in there with a camera that I just pulled straight out. So, highly recommend a motorbike. Um, if you're not a confident rider, um, I wouldn't, uh, because you your biggest risk, like anywhere in the world, is the other people around you. So that's why you need to be road aware. Um, you need to expect that if you're riding at night, you will get the wandering drunk, you will get the twenty dogs. You'll get kids running out in the street without looking. You'll get people that look one way across the road and then bother, don't bother looking the way you're coming. You'll get vehicles with no lights on them. You'll get vehicles with um, armored cars that do go racing up the middle of the road. I'm quite happy to knock you off your bike because they want to come through. That is the Philippines. So if you're not confident and you don't think you can handle those, I wouldn't get on a bike. Um, but I love it. I really do. Um, some of my most interesting adventures have been on motorbikes. Um, you can get up into the mountains on the bikes when the roads have collapsed and, and subsided. You can still get up there on a motorbike, but wouldn't be passable with a car. Um, the other thing is you can travel miles, you know, in a day. You get a ridiculous amount. Um, it's the freedom. It's the freedom of having a motorbike. I love it. It's the only way I like to travel, unless I'm with the family. The family we go in the big four by four. But if I'm on my own, I always go on the motorbike. Rarely do I take the four by four, because I just even before um, when we used to go up to uh, what's it called SNR, the um, it's like a big American store. We, me and my wife would go up there on their bike. Uh, I put a, a box on the back as well because the thing is my wife goes to sleep um, and she'll be asleep on the back of the motorbike. That's why I put the box because then she would no risk of falling off the back of the bike. But <clears throat> we'd go with S&R. April would load up with all the shopping in the taxi and get a taxi back and then I'll just follow on the motorbike. It, it just... You know, that's what the Philippines is about for me. It's about relaxing. It's about doing the stuff you enjoy. Um, in the UK, I'm in a car most of the time. The weather's naff. Um, the traffic is is crap. Philippines traffic's crap, but a motorbike gets in and out of it like no tomorrow. Um, Spain, I've got a got. I've got a car over here at the moment. But I'm already getting that itching that if I had a motorbike, I could go further. Um, I could travel around a bit more. I can get up into the mountains. I could do a lot more with a motorbike than I can with a car. Um, it's just once you get that itch for a motorbike, it stays with you. Um, I know Ollie, a friend of ours, the, um, he spent about two years traveling around 
he's been in Somalia and all all over the place, all the way through Africa, Malaysia. Um, I think the last time we spoke to him was in Georgia um, before he headed back into Europe. Um, well, when it, heading back to the UK. But the thing is, when you do that sort of stuff, it just opens your eyes. And the other thing is, because a motorbike is so cheap to run, you know, a car costs a lot more. Um, probably about three times as much as a motorbike. Um, plus the motorbike, you can normally do a lot of the repairs yourself as well, so you've got that, that advantage. Unless you're going for something super ultra modern and sporty, um, which I wouldn't do in the Philippines myself, simply because I don't know how to set them up properly, and I would struggle to find somebody who did. Um, I'd rather just have something like the Rouser, which is a road bike, um, where I can tinker around with it if I need to, and it's a good bike. But whatever, I recommend it. If you're a foreigner, go for something over 200cc. Um, I wouldn't bother with anything lower than that because on long journeys, it's uncomfortable. It doesn't have enough poke to get you out of trouble. Um, although we've got our little 50cc yellow scooter, it's, it's our what we call the beer run beer run car, because, uh, beer run um, bike, because the helmet space in the seat compartment is big enough to put the big one litre bottles, because <laughs> um, it's quite a big um, carry space in there. But that's only used in town. I, I have been out on the main road with that before, and I remember going down to Nago and nearly getting knocked off a cliff um, by a bus, because there's the bus coming the other way, and this one decided move her over and who's, who's who's on the edge of the uh, the road me <laughs> so i nearly end up getting pushed off into the sea below but if i was on a bigger bike i would have been sat in that situation because i'd be able to outrun the bus i've had some interesting times though on motorbikes um my father-in-law has put me at risk a few times i've, I've had a few near misses with him um the funniest, well, I say funny, you overtook a bus, um, one of the little multicabs, but at the same time, a bus was coming the other way, and I could actually feel the brush of both vehicles on either side of me were that close. Um, and armored car was another one, nearly hit his head on. But he's he's been there his whole life. These things happen. That's the thing. If you're switched on and aware, it, it's something you work with. It's like um, when I'm taking flying lessons, because I, I like flying, um, and I want to do my light aircraft license when I get more time and spare cash to do it with it. Um, my instructor said, you know, be aggressive with the stick. Be aggressive. Because the reason is when you're hesitant, that's how people get killed. If the wind's pushing you away, you push back harder. You know, you level it out. You don't let it push you around because that's how you get killed. You know, you've got to be aggressive, switched on, know what you're doing. And that's motorbike riding for me, especially the Philippines. But even in the car, it's a bit like that. You know, if you get a big truck, a big truck ain't going to make much difference between a car and a motorbike um, if it hits you at 60 miles an hour. So, but... You can look at the negative points and say, well, it's not for me. Or look at the positive side, which is it gets you out. You can travel a lot of the Philippines in very little time. You can take it on boats because a lot of time you can't get the car on some of these smaller boats. But you can get a motorbike on there. Um, if you search back through my video, I'll put the link, link on here. It will show you as actually getting a motorbike onto a banker. Um, when we went from Cebu to Bohol, um, no, sorry, it was to Negros Island, not Bohol, because um, you can. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Highly recommend a motorbike though to get the most out of the trip. Um, it's it's just so so much fun.